Tad. It's Maximus here, this time just with a little video about this Max Can Fan Max Fan, whatever this part number is. It's upside down, EL012E201. So this is their, here, make it easier for people. Their 490 watt unit, 6.3 amps, rated for 1700 CFM. So this is a 12 inch fan. So that means that the outer diameter here is going to be one foot or 12 inches. The actual inner diameter here is going to be about eight inches. This is, these are known as HVAC booster fans. There's several different styles. This is a very noisy one, but it, it's, it is a standard diameter for connecting into uh, heating, ventilation, air conditioning, duct work. They're used a bunch of places. Of course, horticulture, you see them a bunch. I found two of these, I think both at the Habitat for Humanity. This one was at the Habitat for 25 bucks. And if you look at some past videos, I'm kind of into collecting various fans. I like fans. I'm a big fan of fans, you could say. Knew that these fans are pretty expensive. This thing's like around 400 or $450 on Amazon for 1700 CFM 500 watt fan. They are pretty nice. We can see it's seven blade. It's actually still ca uh, molded plastic, just like on the smaller one. But this does have a kind of a bigger motor assembly. Now, the reason that th what sets this apart from some other types of fans is one 1700 CFM is a lot of airflow. But it's in the world of fans, you have choices between, you know, for the diameter of a hole that you're trying to get through or push air through, you have a choice, you know, you have basically three criteria and you gotta pick two. Those three criteria would be peak airflow, press static pressure differential, either how much vacuum or how much pressure it can generate, and the amount of noise for the given amount of airflow. So you gotta choose two. You can have a high pressure differential, high flow fan, but it also means you're going to get a high amount of noise. And this thing is pretty noisy. What I find interesting is that the motor, this big can area is to kind of tune how, and what we can see here, and maybe if I got some better lighting, is what we have here is these are known as air straighteners, like high-end computer server fans and stuff use these. Kind of makes it look like a little bit of a jet engine, but that's what air straighteners do they help improve airflow as well as this whole plastic structure is what holds these fans or is how these fans are mounted into this can and one thing to look out for particularly these max fans is people have had issues primarily i think it's due to shipping but you want to make sure that there's any rubbing with them the bearing if you find one of them used bearings aren't uh don't feel gritty Make sure there isn't any cracking or breaking along these plastic fins. That seems to be a common issue is that, that some of these fins will crack and break around the screws and then the whole internal thing will shift. And there are some pretty tight tolerances up here in the front of the housing to increase efficiency. But of course, it might rub in those situations. And if you have a chance to plug it in, just make sure it doesn't vibrate. But getting you back to airflow, let me stand this up. This is how it works is this fan facing it it's going to be spinning clockwise those little fins in there are actually kind of facing the opposite direction so the air gets kind of get is wanting to spin around in the direction with the fan and it hits those straighteners which are curved the other way to cause it to want to go out straight and that helps increase pressure differential and once again airflow considering that it's actually a eight inch opening that's operating through and that's what these fans are designed for even though uh, they're a little noisy they're designed to be in ductwork and you can get sound insulated ductwork so you don't and they're not designed to be you know next to your head either but if you can find them used like i did for 25 bucks it's a great ventilation fan for you know welding fumes shot fumes that kind of stuff i wouldn't use these around flammable because these are not rated for flammable environments but there's almost no videos about these types of fans one thing i will say or a couple things i'll say as i think it was six months ago maybe it's even been a year ago that i actually for 15 bucks 
got the little 10 inch version basically just a smaller version of the 12 inch but I was going to point out that there is some I guess you'd say diminishing returns so if we look we can see the 10 inch is quite a bit smaller not just in diameter but also in length that's a thousand cfm this is 1700 and you might think okay that's a reasonable difference even a pretty good upgrade getting another 700 cfm for a two inch larger fan but you're getting a whole lot more noise and once again as we pointed out that fan is rated at 500 watts for 1700 cfm this fan 250 watts for a thousand cfm so yes it's true you could if you had space put two 10 inch fans next to each other and you'd have more airflow than one 12 inch fan but that's still going to be more inconvenient and more space used to have the two 10s versus the 112 and so that's the kind of the price you pay is you have to use it disproportionately um, more power to make significant airflow improvements when you're all only doing a moderate increase in the volume of the fan itself as opposed to a fan say like this this is also 12 inch fan but the 12 inch is on the output this has a curved inlet which is actually like 14 inches this also doesn't have and i will show that again that kind of tapered section it does it has some straight panels that support the motor but it doesn't have the complex veins it just has a really big fan blades really large hooked uh, high surface area this fan moves 2700 so this one fan moves as much air as both of these fans combined but this fan is designed to be a little bit more free flowing maybe only go through 20 30 feet of duct work if it if that um and this is also rated for hazardous environments that's why it's kind of funny looking and colored it has a special switch so this is much more free free flowing it can move a whole lot more air but at a lower pressure differential it also is extremely loud actually louder than the can fan i'm about to plug in but it kind of shows you the world of fans where you're if you're so this is going to have less it has good pressure differential but less it's going to be able to handle less or as it gets restricted its airflow is going to drop off more steeply than that can fan which is actually providing more of a better compression of the air that's going through it where this is just maximized to move as much air absolutely as possible for the diameter while sacrificing a degree of uh, resistance to restriction and that's the big difference there is this is actually pulling through an eight inch opening the other fan i showed you was a true 12 inch opening but this has this big cone so it has this wide surface area and as it throws the air through it redirects it and compresses it into this ring and that's how one reason it's able to provide just a bit for an axial fan better pressure differential it's actually interesting that motor this whole black thing is the housing but the motor this is not the motor and the motor is actually inset as you can see here and then it has its own little fan just to, i guess there's some turbulence or it actually kind of stagnates in that housing so they have a second fan just for the motor inside the fan which i thought was a little hilarious what is not hilarious is how loud this fan really is it's crazy so as you can tell it's pretty loud slow it down and i've seen somebody do this once on bigger fans is put their hand in front to feel the suction never ever put your hand in front of any type of moving fan any type of operating fan you get your hand to a certain point and the pressure gradient is exponential from here to here you'll have like four times as much suction force so you get your hand and then it can just get sucked right in even though these are plastic blades those are there's a lot of mass in there if you want to feel a fan you have to feel the exhaust 
unless there is a wire mesh in front of it. Just wanted to put that out there because I've seen somebody do that. So just to compare with the 10 inch here, the 10 inch is a lot quieter. A whole lot quieter. It just doesn't seem to be quite as aggressive as a fan of a fan as the 12 inches. I mean, the 12 inch you can hear the amount of extra power that it has just to try to move that improved airflow. And I actually think this has better pressure characteristics. It can move, push with higher pressure and pulls with more suction uh, than the 10 inch one does. So anyway, long video about these fans, but kind of the whole point to my channel is when I find stuff like this and I look I'm like I mean these companies I know sell thousands and thousands of these fans you know these are you know it's a German based company so it's going to be worldwide that you know they have 120 volt ones for North America and 220 basically for the rest of the world but they're selling tons and tons of these things I'm just surprised when I look on YouTube and there's like a couple of basic videos um and not much else. So that's why I kind of talk about these things. Anyway, thanks for watching.